In this tutorial, you'll learn how to respond to clicks on items in your list view and display the selected item, as well as respond to long presses. So I have my list view from the previous tutorial, and in order to listen to item clicks, I'm going to have to set an item click listener on this list view. So list view dot set on item click listener, new on item click listener, and press enter, and it will override the required method. Inside one of the parameters that provides us is this int i. This is the index of the row that was clicked. So if I want to get the name of the item that was clicked, so string name, I would use my array list of items, so say items, and then get that position, get the item at that position. And now that I have this, I can make a toast displaying the item that was clicked. Because we'll be making toast a lot in this app, I'm just going to go ahead and paste this function that will make toast. So it's called make toast, and you can go ahead and pause the video right now to copy this down. Once we have this make toast function inside of the on item click method, we can go ahead and make a toast and pass in the name of the item that was clicked. So we'll just make a toast with the name of the item that was clicked. And I can run this and we can see what happens. So now when we click on an item, so I click on banana, it's going to display a toast saying banana. If I click on strawberry, it'll display strawberry. And if I click on kiwi, it'll display kiwi. Setting a long click listener is very similar. We say list view dot set on item long click listener, new on item, and then we can press enter and it'll override the required method. And inside over here, just like we did before in our item click method, we're going to make a toast saying, um, we can, this time we'll say long press, that way we can differentiate between a regular press and a long press. And then we'll say items dot get i. So we're going to display the item at the index i. And once we run this and look at our app, when I press on banana, it makes a toast saying banana. And when I long press on it, so you can see I'm holding on, it says long press banana. That's it for this tutorial. In the next one, you'll learn how to dynamically add items to your list view as shown over here. Make sure to subscribe until then.